The Chaotaeon is the era of Kanatag's history in which chaos was in the ascendant. At the start of the Chaotaeon, the world was formless and had no rules at all. Anything could happen. But over time from this chaos emerged the gods, the concepts, the forces that began to shape the world. Even so, this was still a time of orgiastic creation, where everything was mutable, anything was possible, and creation was unrestrained. The marks of this era are found in the profusion of gods, sapient species, monsters, animals and oddities that are found all across the world and the material plane that it inhabits. It is this that explains the strange landscapes, the bodies of titans, the wild and diverse nature of the islands of the Shatterlands. Order may now be in the ascendant, calcifying, freezing, cataloguing and clarifying, but some elements of primal chaos remain. The wildness of the peoples and their resistance to the forces of order are one indication, but primal chaos itself still remains. In the equatorial oceans spins the gyre, a yawning pit of chaos that churns the ocean into a gigantic knot and whirl. Around it land, sea and sky are in constant flux, and new monsters emerge while old ones find homes in the ever-changing flotsam and jetsam of that chaotic brew. It is from here that goblinoid reavers, creatures of chaos and destruction, sally forth. It is from here that new titans, new magic, and some say new ideas, originate. Here and there can also be found chaos. Chaos itself made material, made tangible, a crystalline form of chaos, trapped under a skin of order, awaiting potential that just needs to be cracked forth and is said to be able to grant almost any wish. Magic, some say, is just chaos, shaped and channeled, and if this is so, then the forces of draconian order, the Aegis, ultimately owe their power and their very existence to the chaos they seek to tame. God, perhaps, it seems, is an iron 